Hope you're ready to kill some plague changed. We've got a big qu- You're here to help, and you ain't got any sign of the plague on you. You're either the bravest adventurer to wander into Scarkeep, or the stupidest. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, mainly because we need the bodies. We're here because we volunteered to be the first line of defense against the plague changed. I guess you're here because the folks topside got my message about weird things going on around here. Well, weirder than normal. The folks topside don't like dealing with us much for fear of catching the plague. We only really get supplies when we get new recruits. The rest we have to scavenge from buildings here in the chasm. We're running short on weapons and supplies to arm our soldiers. Real soon, we'll be using rocks, sticks, and harsh language. You look pretty well armed. You think you can help? Head into the broken barracks to the northwest, and recover whatever weapons and supplies you can find. Rewards given! For abomination slain!
Well done. Now we've got a chance to strike back at these creatures. We could really use someone like you at our forward base. I want you to report to Lieutenant Trell at Fort Precipice. But there is something you can do on your way. Maybe you've noticed those blue plague fire geysers nearby. They're setting the ruins ablaze and spawning all kinds of plague-changed creatures. If we don't do something soon, they'll overwhelm Scarkeep. Luckily, some of the recovered supplies included dwarven blasting runes. Tossing a rune into a plague fire geyser should cause it to collapse. I'd be obliged if you'd knock out a few geysers on your way to Fort Precipice. The fight against the creatures of the chasm goes poorly. Their numbers seem limitless, while we are so few. So, you are the source of the blasts we heard coming from the burning road. Well done. I'm happy to have some of those geysers sealed, and even happier to have a volunteer to lend us a hand.
Scar Company is a grim unit, but a proud one. We bore our company colors bravely into battle, but lost them in the fight when we were nearly overwhelmed. The loss of that banner feels like a personal insult to every soldier in this command. It would be a great boost to our faltering morale if you could recover it. If you manage to recapture the banner, bring it here and raise it on the flagpole above the battlements. But be forewarned, the place where it now lies is guarded by some of the most formidable creatures we have yet faced. longer can we hold this position? Trade blue every failure of duty diminishes toll, powers. and every success adds to his luster. Gotta say, I don't like the odds here. You ain't got the stink of the plague changed on you, so I assume you're here to help. Best to remember the good times, don't you think? That banner is more than a piece of cloth. It represents hope to every member of this company. By recovering it, you've helped restore our fighting spirit. We're ready to soldier on now. The entire company salutes you. The plague-changed creatures we face are formidable, but their lack of organization has always given us a small advantage. But now that advantage has been lost. When we launched our attack against the plague-changed, we discovered they were being controlled by a creature called Trokar the Firestarter. Trokar is a potent spellcaster, 
and savvy enough in the ways of war to control the mob of chaotic creatures he commands. Our scouts report he has taken up residence in the ruins just north of here. If we hope to halt the advance of the Plague Changed, Trokar must be eliminated.
What is real? What is an illusion? The fight against the Well done! That's one less chasm spawned monstrosity to deal with. We have a squad deeper in the chasm, guarding a sun elf sorcerer named Quarthon, who is studying the spell plague. He sends word he has gained insight into the true nature of the chasm and requires further assistance. Quarthon created and maintains the magic portals that allow us to move around the chasm. His research is vital to our mission. Follow the road downslope from Fort Precipice. You'll come to the first portal. Activate it, and you'll travel to an earth moat where you can find Quarthon. Spell plague energies are built. Welcome, my friend. I am a need. The strange energies of the chasm allow for a wide array of magical effects that would not function elsewhere.
Your reputation precedes you, my friend. Even down here. I believe you are just the person to assist a pair of Scar Company's more recent recruits. Be so good as to speak to Dorothea Linklater. She will tell you more. I'm so fortunate to have someone to lean on. Oh, it's you! I'm so happy to see you again. After the Plague Tower incident, Joseph and I made our way down here to join Scar Company. It's a hard life, but at least we're not being hunted by our own kind. But I'm worried for Joseph. His condition has gotten worse. I'm afraid he's on the verge of crossing over. I told Gorthon about that horrible Razad and the elixir he used to help me. Gorthon thinks he might be able to duplicate the elixir, but he needs Icar from Plague Changed Aberrations. Unnatural powers!
Ark in his corner is filled with plague changed creatures. I'm so worried about my Joseph. While we are on the top... Ah, this acre is just what I need to finish my elixir. I only hope this experiment proves successful. Joseph Linkletter is a fine man and a terror to the foulspawn. But his condition has grown very dire. Lately, Joseph has been volunteering for the most dangerous missions, leading soldiers who are close to their final transformation into battle. I fear he may be seeking to end his own life the span Dorothea. There! The elixir is complete. Take it to Joseph as quickly as you can. He is currently undertaking a mission over at Apprentice Row. These last days have been precious. You? Yeah, but... Uh, never mind, it doesn't matter. Just stay back, friend. I'm not in my right mind half the time. Um... I'm going to end it. I was just taking a moment to think about Dorothea. You know, every day we've had together has been a blessing from the gods, but... but look at me! It's best I just jump. Elixir? I don't know, but what have I got to lose? Give it here. It's working. The rage and madness slipping away. I feel like myself again, at least on the inside. You've bought me a few more days at least, and I'm going to make the most of them. Do me a favor, will you? Return to Dorothea and tell her I'll be coming back to her soon. The elixir worked? Joseph will be coming back soon? 
Oh, thank you. I hope I know most people would soon. consider that our stores are so low. My elven heritage has allowed me to finish the mental ravages of spell play. I sure hope this Quarthon fellow knows what he's doing. Every soldier in Scar Company suffers from the spell plague. Eventually, the plague changes a person into something no longer human, something terrible. We all make a promise to our comrades. When the time comes and we cross the line, our brothers in arms will make an end of it for us. We have plague-changed men over an apprentice row who need to be put out of their misery. But our orders are to guard the wizard poor them. You can do us a favor by killing any plague-changed soldier you encounter in apprentice row. It may seem harsh, but it's really an act of mercy.
felt the ebbing of arcane energy as you brought the gates down. You have done well. This will go a long way toward ensuring the safety of Neverwinter. The Order of Blue Fire under their false prophetess, Cenobith the Corrupter, is spreading a message of acceptance and submission in the face of the Spell Plague. Cenobith must be dealt with, but she stays hidden within the ruins of the old Cathedral of Mistra, which is sealed by powerful magical wards. Blue Flame Acolytes can pass these wards with the aid of a magical talisman, slay the Acolytes of Corruption, and search them for an Order of Blue Flame Talisman. I'm glad to hear...
use of the spell plague for now. Excellent work. With this talisman, it will be possible to penetrate Cenobit's lair. Trade blue fire insignia for wards against unnatural powers. 